Hi, I'm Mio. Today we'll draw a train running through the cherry blossoms. I'll show you two techniques to use. The first is to delete outside selection. Polyline continuous curve quadratic bezier, trace the outline of the object, delete outside selection. Copy and paste and a new layer will be created. Go back to the original layer, while holding down the Alt key select the move layer to duplicate it. Once you learn this, you will be able to draw illustrations easily. Another way is to copy stamp. You can stamp on the same layer as many times as you like. Blend tool copy stamp. Hold down the Alt key and click on the area you want to copy. The image will be stamped in the same layer. If you choose a small pen, you can copy the details. Today I'll use these two methods to draw a picture. Five photos. Imported and rasterized beforehand. We will draw a train on top of the bottom image. Selection area polyline. Continuous curve quadratic bezier. The outline of the train is carefully traced. Delete outside selection. Adjust the size of the cropped image. Edit. Transform. Free transform. You can shrink, enlarge, rotate, whatever you want. When the position is alright, OK and deselect it. Let's crop and paste an image. Continuous curve quadratic bezier. Select the part of the image you want. Delete outside selection. Scale slash rotate. Paste the image one after another to the required location. Finally, paste the train and you have all the materials you need. Let's store the five layers in a single folder. Click on the top layer, and click on the bottom image, while holding down the shift key. Layer create folder, insert layers. A new folder will be created and all the layers will be placed in it. We want to use the folder as a single image for drawing. Layer. Merge visible to new layer. Then a new layer will be created at the top. Let's draw a picture using the copy stamp function. Blend tool. Copy stamp. Hold down the Alt key and click on the area you want to copy. Adjust reference position each time. The image will be stamped in the same layer. Blur the edges of a cherry tree or add a whole new tree. You can use a fine pen to draw details on branches and leaves. Draw by moving the pen from right to left, top to bottom. Copy and stamp the green of the tree around pink blossoms. The edge of the cherry blossoms will become clearer. Let's draw a distant view. Use polyline continuous curve. Quadratic bezier. To enclose the distant view, 
Edit. Tonal correction. Tone curve. In the tone curve, adjust green to blue to create a darker, bluer perspective. Sprinkle cherry blossom petals on both sides of the railway. Use the running color spray to draw pink petals. Grow bright yellow green grass on both sides of the bank. Let's color the train with the fill tool. Use the tolerance, area scaling, and opacity. Adjust the color of the train, starting with the lightest color. By varying these values, the tone of the color will also change. The area to be colored can be changed slightly. And the shades can be changed in complex ways. This is one of the most fun parts of illustration. Add reflections to the driving window glass and you are done. Today we used 5 images to create a single train landscape painting. The techniques introduced were Delete outside selection, copy stamp, and a layer folder. Thanks for watching. This is Mio Chan. I'll see you soon.